This is the Hanimax or Hanimax TVG070C, guessing around 1977. This is actually one of the more common Pong clones of the time. I mean, seriously, you do see these everywhere when you search for them. Uh, yes, they're the controllers. Left player and right player. Detachable. As poorly shown here. Though in all fairness, oh, they're really hard to unplug. Yes, that's what they look like. It's a pretty small console actually. It has a, a very, very poorly lighted port back here, which is pretty much the same as that port. Um, for a rifle or pistol for those games and DC 9 volts in which is the same as that one as well also commonly found on these consoles is an inbuilt speaker oh and six C sized batteries and I'm missing the battery cover for that one for oh no I just found it never mind love the old school switches which will change the serving from auto to manual the difficulty level for player right and left, the speed and power, and here's a volume slider, which works really well, like it should. I believe the last console to have a uh, volume slider on it was the original Mega Drive, and I'm not counting handhelds here, so yeah. But if there is another console with a volume slider released after the Mega Drive, please tell me in the comments, I'd love to know. The cartridges. Look super sportic. Actually, I'm going to use the Hanamex one. Um, fits really tightly in there, and sometimes it looks really lopsided. Mm, this time it doesn't. So, yeah. It's really nice in there. Yeah. Cartridges have the sort of spring loady thing, but they get jammed all the time. There we go. Reminiscent of the 2600 ones. I'm guessing it's a, you know, just for protection. That's what the DC 9 volt input looks like. Um, yeah, and here's the brick bit there. That's the official one too, by the way. I just fixed it, actually, because it wasn't working too well. Uh, yeah, and proof of that. After I remember to plug it in, having a lot of trouble with that lit recently. Forgetting to plug things in before turning them on. So I'm an idiot. Okay. okay. Nope, there's no game in there. I always forget something. On. Okay. Still nothing. Let's have a look. Volume up a bit. Oh wait. Okay, that's weird. The controller port is doing that. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's my Woody Woodpecker shirt. Let's just hide that away for now. Okay, we've definitely got a screen. Um, three. Alright. Okay, it works. Yeah, I'll just demonstrate um, left player. played with my left hand, which is not always a good choice. These buttons um, correspond to the games listed on the cartridge itself. It's Squash, Hockey, Tennis, Target 2, uh, 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 Target 1, Base, Basketball, uh, Soccer, Gridball, Basketball, Practice, and Practice. Alright, right now it's on Target 2. Here's Car Ace GP. Okay, let's do this. Bugger. Let's go. If I... If I die, I blame my left hand. Holy crap. No, I'm resetting this. Well, okay. Not with my left hand. I'll do better in the review. 
So yeah, there's the Hanamax TVG-070C in probably one of the coolest shots I have ever filmed on YouTube, and that's not saying much at all, really, is it? Um, yes, I do recommend this little, actually kind of cute looking console. Um, it's actually really fun if you get the right games, like, <laughs> I think all of them are actually pretty good. Super Sportic, Super... No, I was about to say Super Monaco GP. I meant um, Car Race GP, aka PC504, and it only has two um, variants of the game: one and six, which correspond to one and six. I really love consoles with lots of switches, buttons, dials, sliders, and toy ducks. But this one doesn't have the toy ducks. That's a bit disappointing. But I love consoles that make you actually get up and do stuff when, you know, nothing on screen is particularly happening. In spite of my friend and I um, giving this a bit of a bash up because of the reset button every time you die, you have to get up and press the reset button, but in all honesty, in all honesty, I don't mind it. It's authentic that way. And I mean, of course, it's going to be problematic if it's going to be up there when you're playing it. Go away, Atari, you don't belong here. We're talking about the Hermonex. I just said it wrong. I like the controllers, how they're labeled right and left. Don't know why, but I do. Um, though the joystick doesn't self-center, and it's quite... You know, it needs a bit of a clean. And I forgot to mention this, the buttons. Really tiny, but effective. I don't like to be focused on. I actually had it in focus just before. This is so annoying. Come on. No. 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 There we go. No. I just had it. Then I started recording and it fucked itself over. Ah! I give up. Goodbye. And as always, I'll be back in 16 bits. Come on. Come on. Please. Not so close. Come on. Please. 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 Yes! I did it! I did it! Yes! Yes! I'm just going to jump. Ah!